If you use Omni frequently, it is advisable to calibrate before you use it each time that can ensure accuracy. Be careful not to scratch the calibration area when opening the lid. Put the calibration plate under Omni main unit, slide right to the home page, tap on calibration and then start. Alternatively you can short press the button following with the long press, to start the calibration. The results within P plus or minus 0.1 range are acceptable. Each Omni has its unique calibration card. If you lost the original calibration card, you could contact our online store to purchase a new one. The shallow side is for ground and the other side is for beans. Test procedure for ground and beans are similar samples need to be scraped flat. Place under the main unit. Power up. Tap the screen on ready page or click on any page to start testing. After the test, use a brush to clean the main unit and the other accessories. Make sure the magnetic port and the inner side of the device has no particles left. Indicating the sample category, beans or ground. Indicating the standard you are currently using. You can change the standard in setting menu. Different standards use different names. To describe specific roast degree, the AVG value indicates the average antron value of this sample. The roast degree on the right side is showed, according to the standard you choose. The ratio indicates the highlighted part of the pie chart. Different part of the pie chart indicates the different roast degree of the samples. The standard variant indicates the uniformity of roast degree. The smaller this number, the more uniform this sample is. This is the roast degree distribution chart of the sample. The middle bar indicates the sample around 52.1, plus or minus 5, shares 23% in total. Scroll down and you can refer to all the history record, up to 500 in device storage. You can also visit the history list page by swipe from right to left once where you can check the last roast analysis result and the entrance to all history results. Silver skin detection feature will automatically remove silver skin from result. You can adjust the sensitivity from 0 to 5. 0 means off. Here is the different silver skin sensitivity setting applied on the same sample. Please ensure that the desktop is flat. Sample half scoop of fine ground. Sampling a flat scoop instead when using coarse ground. Put sample in the middle of particle analysis tray to achieve the best distribution. The automatic ground shaking function sometimes causes uneven shaking due to the sample being too wet, which can be dispersed by hand using a brush. Make sure the magnetic ports are connected properly. Power up. Tap the screen on ready page or click on any page to start testing. After the test, use a brush to clean the main unit and the other accessories. Make sure the magnetic ports and the inner side of the device has no particles left. Indicating the standard you are currently using. You can change the standard in setting menu. The value of D50 indicates the median particle size. The text indicates the grind size of the highlighted part of pie chart. The result here shows that coarse shares 9% of the total, while the fine shares 58% of it. 
the particle counts of this sample is 1699. This is the particle size distribution chart. Here the sample of 0 mu m, 850 mu m shares 85% of the total. The standard variant indicates the uniformity of particle size. The smaller this number, the more uniform this sample is. Scroll down and you can refer to all the history record, up to 500 in device storage. You can also visit the history list page by swipe from right to left twice, where you can check the last particle analysis result and the entrance to all history results. By activating Smart Diffuser Mode, Omni will diffuse the particles according to the current status of samples below. Setting the Maximum Particle Size will limit the particle size range Omni taking count into the final result. If you set this value to 1700 μm, then all the particles larger than this value will all be ignored. Universal, Brightness Adjustment, Local Language Selection View Device Information, Restore Factory Settings Connect the magnetic ports between the main unit and the particle tray. Then plug in the particle tray to start charging.